confirmation that Nicholas Rossi has finally left Scotland brings to an end a bizarre two-year saga here that began with an arrest in a Glasgow hospital and repeated claims of mistaken identity. Jared, I, we're sitting having a conversation. I've never been dead to anyone. I do not prefer to be called Arthur Knight. I am Arthur Knight. While out on bail and sitting beside his wife, the man arrested as a COVID patient repeatedly insisted he is an Irish orphan, an ill man caught up in a conspiracy. This is a vicious lie. How can I be a flight risk if I can't even stand? Months of drama, denials and delays followed, with Rossi attending court throughout in a wheelchair, despite a prison doctor's evidence that she could find no medical reason for it. Court eyes. After a sheriff ruled on Nicholas Rossi's identity, the Justice Secretary signed an extradition order last September. The American appealed. He even represented himself, making claims that he would not receive a fair trial in the US because he was investigating those seeking to extradite him. Judges dismissed these arguments, agreeing with the previous sheriff that the case was straightforward and there is nothing to stop Rossi being put back on a plane to the United States. We're pretty. Um pleased with what happened um, with the courts in Scotland that he's going to be brought back here, uh, mainly because um, the alleged victim in this case will have an opportunity to, to be heard um, and for justice to be done. Nicholas Rossi is believed to have used multiple aliases. His DNA and fingerprints were added to a national database after he was convicted of assaulting a woman in Ohio in 2008. These key pieces of forensic evidence would later link him to a Utah rape case, leading to an international manhunt. In his home state of Rhode Island, the 36-year-old is also known by his birth name, Nicholas Aliverdian. By the time this elaborate obituary was posted in 2020, it's believed Nicholas was already living in the UK, leaving behind him a string of criminal allegations and debts. Distinctive tattoos helped to identify this fugitive in Glasgow. These are the pictures from an Interpol notice shown to nurses before his arrest in December 2021. Rossi later claimed he had woken up from a coma to find his arms had been tattooed. I knew this day would come. I didn't think it would take as long as it did. Um, but the long arm of the law, the old saying, um, will get you. Because this is really about the victims, everything he's done to them. So I'm glad you're on your way back, Nick. I can't wait. I may fly out to uh, Dayton, Ohio, Utah, wherever you're going to go and watch your trial. Spinning a story with so many twists and turns, Nicholas Rossi has found himself the subject of numerous podcasts and documentaries. It's now over to the American courts for the next chapter. Sharon Frew, STV News.